over to the cloud. I'm going to start recording. So anything you do now, Diane, the tour through your house will be recorded from here on. Uh, hi, Shawnee. How are you? Hi, Derek. Loving the shape over there. Can everybody just give me a second to um, have fun and then we'll get into our meeting? You don't really have a choice. <laughs> here we go. Enjoy. <laughs> I see you, Diane. I see you. You're into it. Oh, look at that. Wow. I was in that video. 1984. That was me. Yep. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, Derek. I wish. I know. Hey, totally clips the heart. We need the lyrics. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Don't laugh at me. That's the issue. I'm so sorry. Okay, go on. And and uh, Cam's outfit's perfect for this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're almost done. This has been blast. I wonder if she looks back at that and goes, "Oh my God, I can't believe I did that." Oh my God, Keith. Keith! All right. So that was uh, my homage to the eclipse, which is happening. Sun Valley is supposed to get about 70,000 people uh, in our little valley over the next few days. 70. 20. <laughs> but it's going to feel like 70 because it's going to be closer to 50. Anyway, uh, make sure you have glasses on uh, so that you don't hurt your eyes and enjoy the eclipse. The uh, It's Monday, I think 1130 is the totality here. Um, so our office will be closed, which means Teresa and I won't be uh, in the office, but you can certainly reach us after 12. We'll probably be watching the eclipse because Sun Valley is like the epicenter of it. It's supposed to be as good here as anywhere in the world. So we're kind of excited about it. Um, I am anyway. Do you know that it's only this Oh, one sorry, Stephanie's saying something. Do you know why this one's the biggest one? Stephanie's got information for us. it's nationwide. That's all. I mean, there's other full total eclipse, but this is the reason why this one's so big is because it's the first, it's the only happens once in 100 years that you actually get it across, across the whole nation. Country. So it's a great North American. It goes across yeah. the entire country, yeah, so that's why it's such a big deal, I think. Hi, Angie, how are you? Oh. Hi, Angie, how are you? <laughs> she turned herself off. That's awesome. Okay, nice to have you. Um, if uh, this is your first fan club, they're usually uh, way more fun than this. Um, but a couple things. A couple things right off the bat is that um, if you have a question, there's a chat thing over there, but the chat thing kind of goes away when I share screen, and so I won't see it, and then I'll ignore you, and I feel badly about that. So just unmute yourself and ask away, okay? But go ahead and mute now. Um, I hear someone doing things. Okay, but if you have a question, unmute and ask it, as, as opposed to relying on the chat, because that didn't seem to work very well last week. Okay. Um, Great to have you here. Oh, Dana's trying to get in here. So. And uh, I hope you're getting a lot out of this. We are going to talk today a little bit more about IQO because it is such an enormous toolbox. And I'm having a blast because I, I keep going into it and learning things, and it's and it's actually quite fun. And the more you, time you spend with it, um, yeah, the more... <laughs> The more time you spend with it, the the, uh, the better you get at it, has been my experience. Lee, I think you uh, spent a lot of time in it, and you're pretty good at it. And um, so anyone can say, yes, that's that's true. So I'm going to share my screen in a moment, and uh, we're going to jump into another file cabinet that IQO offers. So any questions before I get going? What are we doing? No? Nope. Okay. Whoa, that looks bad, but that's Bonnie Tyler, Total Eclipse of the Heart. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, here we are in IQO, and I'm actually going to get, um, and 
I want to reiterate that I really need you to think about IQO as your office. This is your this is where your business lives in IQO. All of the stuff you need for your business pretty much lives in here. Your CRM, your uh, your documents, your listing files, your photos can live in here. A whole bunch of stuff. So think of IQO. The O stands for office, and you're going to learn this system a little bit better. In your office, you have 12 file cabinets. One here with IQO help, one here with everything you need from forms to trainings to uh, CV123 order forms to Step Beyond Media, and the other file cabinet up here is your profile. So those are three file cabinets, and then you've got these nine here on the blue bar if you're in the classic view. If you're in the modern view, they're over here on the left, but I like to think of myself as classic, <laughs> so I stay in this view. Um, these oh. file these file cabinets have just so much stuff in them. It's either awesome or it's overwhelming. My job is to turn the overwhelming into awesome. So that's what we're trying to do with these uh, fan clubs. Here's the file cabinet I want to look at today. Okay, it's the fourth one over and it's called files. This is super useful for you as an agent on the go, an agent who might work from home, uh, or if you're Adam, you're always on the plane flying around to places. And so you can get your stuff files, file cabinet. Uh, if someone needs to mute themselves, please. Sorry, turn it up. Hi, this is Debbie. Okay, you need to mute yourself, please. Yes, hi. Who is it? Okay, sounds good now. All right, so here we go into files. This file cabinet is kind of weird. There's only three things in it. Um, and so I want you to, to know what these three different drawers are, and I'm going to encourage you to use two and to stay away from one. Not because you shouldn't use it, but because I don't know enough about it right now, and it just doesn't seem as, as friendly um, as, as it should. And if you're wondering what I'm doing right now on my phone, um, I want to show you, you can do all this on your phone too. Okay, so here we go. The one that we're not going to spend a ton of time on and that I'm not going to encourage you to use much right now is the shared folder. Here is an issue though. People say, share this with me, use the shared folder. This isn't what we're really talking about. If marketing or if um, someone asks you to share something, they're most likely talking about the shared Google Drive, which is up here in Google. This is where you share things with marketing. This is where you can share things with me or with Teresa or with your OM or your MD is here on this box. If you don't know how to use this, that's not what this training is about. We can go over that uh, individually. But what the confusion can be that, oh, there's a shared folder here, I should use this. And yes, this folder does share things, but not in the same way that you think. And so we're going to not worry about this one right now. Just don't use it. Okay, the other two, though, are super powerful, super deep as well. We're going to start with documents library. No matter what office you're in, no matter what capacity you're in, the documents library has just about everything you're going to need to run your business. Okay? I'm going to click on it because that's what I do. All right. I think I've gone over this once before, but what you have here are the newest documents, things that have just been added. Why are they up top? Because if it's new, maybe you have a use for it right away. So they put it at the new. Over here on the right, popular documents. What are people usually downloading? So it's right there at the ready. And you can just grab these things as needed. That's why these two things are at the top. If this isn't what you need, don't think, well, this documents library folder is not for me. It is. We're going to go down to all these different folders in this document library drawer. Okay. I'm going to go through them sort of one by one, some a little longer than others. And, and all I want you to do from this training is realize that, oh, my God, this is where all this stuff is? This is fantastic. I didn't even know this stuff was in here. So first thing I'm going to do is click on Agents, okay, and I've got folders for each of our main offices, Bozeman, Craig, Grand Junction, Montrose, Steamboat, Sun Valley, and Vail, and something in here about Tom Ferry uses social media to achieve massive growth. You should see his guns. He is, he is getting really, really big. Um, so here I am in Sun Valley. I'm going to click on 
Sun Valley. Personal marketing company order form Sun Valley. You know what? I looked at this. This is, I think, for the branding, the personal branding. Is that right, Shawnee? Do you know? Sorry, I was muted. Okay. Is, is that what all these are for? The documents library for the agents know those. We haven't yeah. done anything with those ones. Okay, because this is a this is a thing you click on it, it downloads, and I'm going to open it, and we're just going to see what these are. These are in all the folders, uh, and I'm not 100% sure what they were, Shawnee. Uh, here's the thing with with uh, IQO, you're going to see things, and you're like, what is that? If you don't know, just leave it alone. But this is in all the agent folders, so Shawnee. Yeah, is that this is something. This is something we use in Grand Junction, and Mark Rose is going to be using. Okay. Yeah, that isn't something that's associated with the agent branding package. Okay. So for the most part, we'll leave that alone. And for right now, um, yikes. Right now, we're not going to worry <laughs> too much about that. Uh, so what are these agents folders for? Well, we're going to start to fill them out a little bit more right now. They don't have much use in them. Agent testimonials. This is where once you make a sale, uh, the testimonial that I think your OM will send out to the um, people you work with will live so that they can send in the rave review about your service. And then we publish those and, and make sure that everybody knows what a great job you did um, with your client. As always, IQO lists things alphabetically. So Bozeman office is up here, then Grand Junction, then Montrose. So thanks for the Bozeman office. It's our next folder. I know not all of us are Bozeman agents, but this is kind of a, uh, since you're new, you don't have anything in there, sorry. <laughs> um, let's go to the Grand Junction office. Okay, Stuff that Grand Junction agents might need it can be loaded in here. Who can do the uploading in this folder? Only the OMs and MDs. If you have something you think should be in here, like a, a contingency form that would be of use, send it to your OM, we'll put it in here. So Grand Junction agents, anything you might need for your business can live in here. And then there's another folder, residential listing packet, that lives in here as well. Okay? All right. Um, I want to go back. So each office has its folder that can be, um, you know, used that way. Buyer contract forms, self-explanatory. Here's one that I just sort of put in here, and, I, and because my title is Director of Education, I'm going to tout this for a minute. I want this folder to be the place you can go for any type of education stuff that we've covered or that maybe you didn't know about, but I try to make a bunch of one sheets. It's my pride and joy. Um, I'm going to uh, make a one sheet on one sheets pretty soon. And just you wait, it's going to be the best thing ever. At any rate, all the one sheets that I make, I just put in here. So if you need to know anything about any of the stuff in our toolboxes, you can come to that education one sheets folder and, without watching a video and having to uh, put sunglasses on to reduce the glare, you can come in here and download anything at all about how to access marketing packages, how to use your Instagram, how to do the video shop app, how to, how to do showing surveys and markets. All these are the one sheets that walk you through A, why we have them, and B, why you should use them, and C, most importantly, how you should use them. Business cards. So these are all basically my tech talks put on paper. Okay, this lives again in the one sheet. Really simple navigational uh, tip here is just come up here to this and you can move around as opposed to using the back or the close button. So I'm going to go back to my education folder. Okay, I'm also putting in here things uh, from Tom Ferry. I'm putting in things that agents are finding useful like, oh, this document is really helpful. Okay, I'm going to put it in the education folder. So in your spare time, so the three minutes, Sharon, that you have today where you're not doing real estate, come in here and just take a look at what's going on. Um, here's my pride and joy, the thing that I am most proud of, except for my fine rapport with the agents in my office. Oh, by the way, two new agents in our office, Dana and Karen, Shay Buxton just came over from Sotheby's. Uh, which, what do you say? Sotheby's. Oh, Sotheby's, yes. They just came over. We couldn't be happier to have them. Anyway, I have, I'm going to... I have a question. Where are your one sheets? One sheets, right here. There's oh, there a folder there. called one okay, sheets. I see it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, okay. that's why I need to make a one sheet on one sheets, because of questions like that. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, take a look at this. I, I think this is cool. One person said, good job. It was my son. He was half asleep. But anyway, this is called an IQO 
visual guide. And I put this together with the help of a lot of folks. When you click on things here, folks, they don't pop up, they download. So come down here, open when done. Lisa, the photo of Keith just sitting there smiling at me is killing me, but whatever. <laughs> okay, increase your IQ. We thought that would be a good title. If you're new to the office, if you can't stand IQO, if you get bamboozled and, and corn fuzzled a lot, come here, look at this, and I hope the 14 pages will be helpful. At the very least, it's a cool photo of some dude riding his bike on, on Baldy. Yeah, your son. No, it's not my son. But this is like the metaphor for IQ, right? Like, ah, oh, but there's a path, and I'm trying. To... <laughs> Jesus Christ, what are you on? Today? I know. <laughs> Sorry, Keith. Hey, man. Blinded by the light. Okay, so there's 14, 18 pages here that breaks down IQO file cabinet by file cabinet with lots of arrows, lots of dialogue boxes. Therese actually wanted me to use more arrows, but I said no. Uh, so, and look at that. There's Josh. Josh, that is a sweet profile photo, brother. Um, this is, so it goes cabinet by cabinet. You can learn all the stuff that I think is really useful at the get-go, Dana, as a new agent. This should be very helpful, okay? All right, that's right here. We did a CBX training a few weeks ago. If you need to know more about CBX, which is that wonderful aggregational tool um, to, to learn about your listings and such, that's right here. If you're new to CBDP or if you feel new because sometimes you're just confused, come here and get a refresher from the new to CD, CBDP handbook. Uh, right now, Frank, your profile photo is the lead photo on that with you and your, and your big um, Stetson. It looks great, I think. Um, Tom Ferry business plan. Yeah. You're coaching, your MD asked you for a business plan. You're like, oh, I don't know where that is. It's here in education. Tom Ferry events slides. So when they were going into the pool at the MGM, there's photos of people doing that. And there's a breakdown of our different toolboxes. Okay? It's also 21 ways to grow your business. I was aiming for 22, but we only found 21. So hopefully that's enough. Hi, Valerie. How are you? Nice to see you, Valerie. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Unmute yourselves. It's my show. Okay. Backing out of education. Backing out of education. When, then we have Fast Track, which is a program I'm not really going to say go use that, but it's, uh, it's something we're trying to amend to make more useful for our company. Anyway, that's there. Grand Junction office, marketing materials, this is huge. And Shawnee, feel free to jump in and, uh, and say anything at all about this folder. But I'm gonna open marketing materials because there's a lot of stuff in here. You don't do any ordering here. You don't, you don't try to get a CD1 or contact Scott and Step Beyond Media from here. But this is where you can find all the CDs. You wanna take it to a listening appointment. What's a CD look like? Here, bam. You can subscribe to 5280 uh, because you're in, De you like Denver, I don't know. Bozeman, marketing materials. We're gonna start with you, Bozeman. And guess what, there's stuff in here. Don't, I don't know why IQ does this. It makes you feel like you've just walked into a closet that you shouldn't have been in. That's not it. The folders here live. Bozeman, here are your CV one, two, and three flyers. If you wanna print it out so you can take it to a client, or if you wanna, if you're recruiting an agent because you wanna think about that legacy payment, you say, hey, agent, look at these things we do in our office. Print this out, take it to them, and they're going to go, damn, I can get a whole package for 89 bucks of photos and flyers and postcards and Facebook posts and just, whoa, 89 bucks in Bozeman? Cheapies, that's awesome. So those live in here. I'm going to back out to Bozeman Marketing Materials. Listing presentation. As you know, our wonderful marketing department has made listing presentations for all of our agents. They live in each of these folders. You ran out. You gave three to some client because you thought they needed to have three of them and you only get five from the company. You can come here and you can print one out. You can uh, turn it into a, a, something that lives online. But that's right here, the Bozeman one. It's got that picture of Frank on the, on the front. Even if it's not Frank's <laughs> listing presentation, we still want Frank and his Stetson on the front. This is Frank, by the way, brand new agent in Bozeman. His profile photo, I'm gonna send it. It's awesome, he's in his cowboy hat. He, uh, he went to <laughs> vet school essentially in Bozeman, no, not quite, he's animal school, but now he's doing real estate. 
He lives in Foresight, and you know what their you know what their uh, mascot is in Foresight? The Dogies, the D-O-G-I-E-S. That's awesome. That's like a little cow without a mom. So back to uh, marketing materials, right, Frank? Am I good on that? Okay, Coal Banker logos. If you need a logo, they're in here. Please don't just go get logo crazy and say, oh, I've got logos, I'm gonna make a tattoo and I'm gonna do stuff. There are identity standards that you have to adhere to, but if you need a logo um, because you're doing a little side project or whatever, they're all in here. The Commercial Prime Properties, which is our commercial division, Distinctive Angel stuff, the CBDP, and then the Global Luxury ones are here as well. Again, don't run wild with these. Check with Shawnee, Lee, or me about identity standards uh, before you go make something for the world, okay? All right, marketing materials. Colorado Home and Life subscriptions, that's another magazine. I'm probably gonna change these things up so these things don't sit so big because I don't think a ton of people use them. Commercial marketing materials for the, our commercial uh, people, Craig, Distinctive client giveaway if you ever want to have a flyer. If you're new to the company, we have a distinctive client giveaway every quarter. So if you ever want to send a flyer out, those are in here. Grand Junction, Montrose, newsletter images. You want to use something for your newsletter that you're customizing? Look at that, Bozeman images. we got Frank. Grand Junction, Montrose, Steamboats. You can come in here and grab images that you can use in your newsletter. Okay? The arrows are also here, OMs. Um, so if you ever need to upload an, an arrow for our stats sections, those are right here. Awesome. If you're not an OM, don't worry about that. But in our newsletters, we have little up and down things for the stats. Those arrows live there. Um, Steamboat Marketing, Step Beyond Media. If you want to know what Scott's up to, Scott is our in-house uh, videographer and, and photographer and media person. Here's a bunch of things that he has in here about the services he provides. Uh, and I, I don't think Bozeman's quite on there yet, but it's all pretty much the same. Pricing info, what a Matterport is, the drone, the Osmo Flyer, which uh, is going to be the name for my next band. Um, Adam, you're drumming, right? Sun Valley Marketing Materials, Vail Marketing Materials. All this stuff lives in one place, which is marketing materials. This is deep. It's got everything you might need for your marketing, okay? Any questions before I leave the marketing materials folder? No? Good. Okay. Back to the documents. That was just one drawer in this file cabinet. That was just marketing materials. Montrose office onboarding. Uh, this is mainly for OMs, but we're going to be housing our onboarding procedures in here, OMs, so you can always come and get it. Agents, if you're new and you want to and you've lost your onboarding sheet. You'll be able to come in here and get it. Totally fine. Referral docs for all offices. If you've got a bum knee or something and you need a referral to a PT, I think you can come here. Is that what that's for? Yeah. No, Kathy said no. Um, so any referral business you're doing, come in here for the docs. If you don't see what you need in any of these things, OM or me. Okay, that's the nice thing is you've always got somewhere to go with your questions about any of this stuff. Okay, that's just the one drawer in this file cabinet of, of, of documents library. Okay, so back to files. Make sure we see this one more time. All these things live in the documents library. You cannot put things in here, but you can take anything you want out of it. Only the OMs, the MDs, and Teresa and I can put stuff in here. If you want something in here, you're like, dude, this has, you need a folder with this in it. Great, let me know. And for a, a minimal fee, I will do that for you. Okay? <laughs> okay, documents library. I'm going to show you the shared folder real quick, and I'm going to tell you why we shouldn't use it right now, because we have an agent in Bozeman who is one of the smartest agents I've ever met in the state of Montana. Uh, and she was told to share her photo. Sorry, Frank, you're like, yeah, whatever. She was told to share her photos with, uh, with marketing, and because she's so smart, she looked at this, she said shared folders, she put them here. These two folders are her photos for these listings, but marketing had no, didn't know they existed because this isn't where we do that. We do that in the Google Drive, which is shared, but this shared folder is pretty much, here's the nutshell. If you want to share something with the whole company or with another agent or whatever, you can put it in here and everybody can see this stuff. 
So put it in here and everybody can see it, but it's kind of cumbersome and you'd have to email someone, hey, I put that in there, but anyway, and there's not a lot of stuff in here. So you don't really need to worry about shared folder right now, okay? But the home folder is the other uh, big drawer in this filing cabinet that um, I want to show you, okay? Home folder is your folder. That is for you. Anything you want to have access to, but you don't want anyone else to have access to, you put in your home folder, okay? Maybe you've got a, your contact list. You want to always have access to it, you can put that in here. Can I, can I, oh, I can see it, but Frank can't see it. Sharon can't see it if they didn't, if this isn't their home folder. So you can put any images, you can put any PDFs, any JPEGs, any Excels, any whatevers in your home folder, and then you always have access to it. Okay, where am I again? I'm in files, home folder. So you're asking me, well, why Mr. Education, are there only two things in here? Because I'm not an agent and I don't need a ton of things, but I'm gonna show you something really cool. At least I think it's really cool. Okay, so I'm putting myself away. All right, here are the two things I have in here. They are the fan club invites. I just uploaded them for um, Gits and Shiggles. If I want to upload more, I just come here to upload file. If I wanted a whole folder, I create a folder. You all know how to do that. But what I can do with this JPEG that's in here, and this is really cool, I hover over the actions because the actions is always a hover button. Don't click on actions, it's not gonna do anything. Hover. If I wanted to just send this image, maybe it's a flyer I did, maybe it's a, maybe it's a cool photo of a house and I'm trying to get some people to see it, I can just come over to actions, click email, and from my IQO email, which is connected to your main email, you can just send it. Bam. Here's the coolest thing though. Be social. And it looks like a little amoeba or like a, I don't know, anyway, it's, it's, it says be social. I can click this, watch what happens. Everybody with me now? Don't say anything, watch what happens. I'm gonna click be social. And guess what? This JPEG now lives online with its own URL. So cool. So I can take this JPEG and I can, I can send someone a link and they're gonna be able to open it and get that photo or that PDF. If there's a really cool PDF that someone sent me and I wanna be able to have it on my website that I've customized, I can put it in my IQO home folder and then it lives as either URL or HTML that you can embed. So all of a sudden, you've got this really cool thing that someone sent you, how do I get my people to see it? Do I print it 100 times? Do I have to put it on issue.com? No, you can do it right here. Can you give an example? No. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. It doesn't work quite as beautifully as I'm making it out to sound, but it's pretty cool. Ah, no, ah no, yeah, no. yeah. It's like a singles ad. Yeah, I'm a blah, blah, blah. but then you meet it and you're like, oh, okay. All right, anyway, there's the URL that's generated, okay? So I click on this, and what I'm hoping is that it's going to um, just come to its own website. And what it does is it gives you this down here. It gives you the thing where you can open this uh, photo or if it was a PDF, it would open the PDF. If, if it was a, a document, it would open the document. It's, this is just JPEG, so it's not super fancy, but this lives online. This is not coming from my computer, this is coming from the web, because the IQO puts anything in your home folder, if you choose, you can have it come online. So, Kathy asked for an example, I'm gonna do a better one. I'm gonna upload a file, let's hope I have something on here. I'm gonna add a file to my home folder upload. Again, the home folder is only for me. If I upload something, your agent across the hall can't poach it from you. They can't even see it. So it's a locked file. It's a locked, it's the bottom drawer in your cabinet that you have a lock, a key to, and no one else can get in there. You can put whatever you want in there. Except Teresa and I can see it, and we are Snoopy. All right, DS stuff. It's Deb Seaver's stuff, right? Uh, okay, so let's see. One sheet, ABCs of a new listing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload a one sheet because God dang if one sheets don't make me happy. Start upload. Okay, and I'll tell it to close. And in just a moment, we're gonna see this thing just populated here, one sheet. I wanna put this one sheet of a new listing on my website. I don't know why I wanna do that, but I wanna do that so my clients can just come and say, hey, I wanna learn how to do that. Maybe your thing that you put on there is um, how to choose the right agent. 
Maybe you got that PDF from somewhere, you love it, and you want it on your website so that when someone visits your website, they get that piece of information. You put it in here, actions, I want it to be social. I'm gonna copy this URL. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna paste it into a new browser. And again, it's not, I, I wish it would just pop up with its own site. I hope the next iteration, and I'm talking with Lyle about that, does it, but it opens here as a download. And okay, there's my one sheet. Okay, so pretty slick. I'd say it's about a B plus in terms of like, wow, that's really cool. It's okay. not. Question. Um, Stephanie has a question, so we'll just go ahead and move on. Um, uh, okay. So you're there. Don't, don't. Yeah, oh, go sorry. Go back into your B social. Okay, I'm gonna be social again. So can I not just cut and paste my URL into my Facebook? I mean, you can just click yeah. or just hit the Facebook thing there. I mean, why are you going out of it? Okay, great. So Stephanie's got a, a really good question, which is um, sort of uncommon, but uh, social sites. If you wanted this just to go to your social, your Facebook, you can just click that and it's gonna go. And then you'd have the chance to post. It's not gonna like, automatically pop up, right? Didn't you see that the other day? You can add, you know, your right. little comment, like, you gotta see this this awesome article. Right, does it show up as an image, or does it show up as the oh, link? Yeah. So I'm gonna push Facebook, because the questions are uh, deeper than my knowledge goes, so everybody, hold on. I just clicked Facebook, we're gonna see where this goes. When I clicked an IQ office for one of my listings, no, it's not. Oh no! Well, that yeah. but it'll show. He hasn't posted, posted it though. when you post it, when you post it. it, it yeah. So when I recently posted one of my listings from IQ Office into Facebook, it posted it with the the photo and everything like you would normally. So the way Facebook works now, which is great, it fetches the information, and I love that they use that verb on their Facebook thing. It makes me so happy. But it fetches whatever that site is. Um, and it should just show that. This looks a little weird, so I'm gonna say don't use this Facebook thing until I can say, here's how it works. I don't wanna do that right now because I like to not practice on my agents. Um, but you've got some different options here. I don't even know what delicious is. Um, mm -hmm. Frank, do you? No, ask Dylan, maybe Dylan knows. Dylan, happy birthday tomorrow. No. No. Big guy, what are you, 37? Okay, I don't know what Dig is. I think it's a it's a hip hop website. Reddit, uh, I've already seen that. And uh, but this is the embed code. If you wanted to embed it, did you get it? Yeah, yes. girl. This is the embed code. If you wanted to embed it in a site, so it sits on a site rather than just using a URL link. Okay. All right. Tons of things to do here, and I'm sure that Lee, you've probably already done this a hundred times and can um, educate me. Lee, have you used this, and do you have any insights, or Shawnee, either of you? Sorry, I keep muting it. I'm sorry? I keep unmuting and muting it. Um, I haven't used that. When I do something with the B Social, I share it right from the listing detail page. Okay, and I can show you that in a minute, but here's what I'm telling you is that like Shawnee is the most social person I've ever met and she's never used that social, that be social thing, so <laughs> aren't we cool? Be social. If you just wanted to download that file, you can do that. If you want to move it somewhere, do that. Copy it, rename it, and delete it. So again, this is all your stuff. No one else is in here messing around with your things. You can have images of your family. You want to have them here? Great. Put the things in here that you want to have access to when you are on the road. Okay, so it's 11.35 or so. I'm going to back way out here, and I'm going to go to Files. Actually, I'm going to go to my home page. You'll have time for question and answer as soon as I play that Bonnie Tyler song again. Okay, here is your file cabinet. It's called Files. It's got Documents Library, which has everything that the company thinks you need for your marketing and business to succeed is in here. Education, Tom Ferry business plans, marketing updates and things like that. That's all in documents library. Shared folder, don't really want to use that too much right now. Home folder, that's you. That's all you, no one else is getting in there. Okay? All right, since Shani brought it up and Stephanie sort of did as well, I'm gonna show you really quickly what they meant by you can be social with your listings from your listings. Okay, so if you don't mind, uh, uh, Deb, I'm going to act as you. Okay. Well, I probably don't have anything in there. 
You don't have any listings? SIE, sorry, okay. Um, just like Dina Sanchez and Vail, Deb Sievers has the coolest initials in the company. Had a girl. Okay, here's my homepage is Deb Sievers. Look at all those contacts, man. I am an agent. All right, I want to send this listing to someone. So I'm pretty sure what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to wait for IQO to do its thing. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Okay, here, so I'll, I'll back up in a second, but here's what this is looking like. This is a global luxury listing. Uh, it's $2.2 million, $2 million, and in Sun Valley, the cutoff is nine fifty, so it gets the global luxury uh, advertising. I know, Sharon, you have one of those. Chrissy's in the room. She has one. Um, Where's the Karen, video? I've got a lot. Huh? Where's this the, is, the video should be on there. It should, but this is just, um, yeah, let's, let's back out of this. Okay, so what I... Mm, Where's that going to be? I want these things to show you up. Go to marketing. No? No, you go go up back up to your listings. And maybe maybe I want to go from Mine there. are always like, Yeah, I know. You know so right. just IQO, you know, it's got a personality. And sometimes there you're you like, go. okay. And then hit my listings. All right. Why it goes to all listings, I've told you this before. I don't know. Don't freak out. You're looking for your listings and all of a sudden you see this stuff in Grand Junction. For $10 million, this gray tab here, go to my listings. I'm acting as Deb Sievers, so we're going to see Deb Sievers' listings in just a moment. Okay, here's that same listing, $2.2 million. I can come over here to actions, and I'm going to hover over actions, because actions is a hover button, and I can share the single listing website, which is the thing totally dedicated to, to just her property. I can get the URL. I can post it directly to my Facebook. I can tweet it because Deb's always tweeting. I can share the details page. What would that even look like? Oh, I'm going to go ahead and click on this from a URL standpoint. Okay. Um, all right. So here's the details page, which is basically what we just saw. And Stephanie, you're going to ask, "Where's the video?" And I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. So it's on showcase. It's on, it's it's on, on showcase. There. It's right there. You go back up. Go back to the image. See the image. There's images the, and there's a video. Oh, so if you want to see the video, you could just click that, and then we go to the slideshow video. Um, okay. So there's that. But let's say I want to see the single listing website. For those of you that don't know what that is, each of your listings, even if it's a if it's a one bedroom ramshackle house in Mesa, Colorado, it gets its own website. It looks like the king of the court. So SLW, single listing website. This is one of the coolest features that CBDP offers, I think. Okay, look at that. This website is totally dedicated to this property. I can see all the stuff. The video tour is down here. So you can send this link out to your seller, especially, and go, dude, your, your home has a website. Did you know that? Well, is it sold yet? Dude, your home has a website, right? Okay. So that's pretty cool. You, you can get all that stuff in here in your, in your listings. I didn't want to uh, make this about the listing file cabinet, but just know the more time you spend figuring out what these buttons do and what a click does, you're not going to hurt anything. Make it a priority over the next few weeks when you're not busy. <laughs> um, learning more about IQO so that you can become comfortable with this. Oh, I wanted to send a different agent's uh, property to someone. I can just put in the MLS number, the address. It doesn't even have to be my listing, and I can do this. Okay? So lots of cool stuff. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Well, first, are there any questions about these, this file cabinet that I've gone over? Sarah, you shouldn't be so quite so uh, enthused about what I'm doing. <laughs> Any questions or any insights that people have or like, well, he totally forgot to mention this. No? Okay. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen, but we're not quite done yet. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. I wanted to show you on my phone what IQO looks like because you can, so I'm going to put this up close. Like, here's my IQO page on my phone. It's just about full size. It's robust. It's like it has everything I would need on there. Is there an app for it? There's no app for it yet. It's but it's, it lives online. So cbiqo.com. 
and you can get this online. Oops, I'm standing here. You can get this online, and it's all right here at your fingertips. But they, don't, they said that they don't recommend us actually doing work on it, but you can look at it. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do a bunch of – I wouldn't, like, start a new listing um, or a new, new uh, contract form on here. But all I'm saying is that when you're uh, on vacation and you need – someone called and said they need something, you can get it on your phone. CBIQO.com, log in, and it's all right there. Certainly works on iPad as well, and uh, of course on your computer. But um, I wanted to show you those things. Let's see. Sharon, thank you for filling some lyrics in. D, my phone just died. Oh, shoot. Okay, CBI, CBDP01. Okay, as usual, I tended to race through things. I tended to rush through things, trying to uh, both keep people's interest um, as well as get through a lot of information. Um, what does anyone want to ask? Anyone want to share an IQO like best practice or success story? Or do we want to watch Bonnie Tyler gyrate with naked men again or what? It's pretty good. You can yeah. vote for Bonnie Tyler. I got one vote for Bonnie Tyler in here. Frank, whatever you're saying, we can't hear. It's probably just as well. Hi, Betsy. Okay. Um, I've recorded this. I'll send you the link uh, when I get it posted. But um, hope these things are helpful and fun. Hope you have a great Monday eclipsing your last year's totals as of August 21st. That's my eclipse joke. And um, keep up the great work in all of our markets. And uh, just so you know, next week we'll do a fan club, but the September the 1st, it's Labor Day weekend that Friday, we will not be doing a fan club. So I know the tears will start to fall. I'm sorry, but September 1st, there will be no fan club. Okay? All right. Great job, everybody. And uh, everybody needs to wave bye-bye. Otherwise, I feel like you haven't listened to a single. Valerie, bye. Ah! Valerie. Okay, bye everybody. Bye Derek, thank you. Yeah, my pleasure, sort of.